Today, we're going to talk about recorders, because who doesn't like talking to the dead, right? One of the first things to bear in mind is you need to purchase a recorder that has the ability to offload files onto a sound program. Do you might think it's pointing? USB plug. Downloads everything from the recorder onto a sound program. Makes it easier to access those files. Next, we're going to talk about frequency response. Basically, what this is, is the recorder replicating everything that you record in the proper frequencies. So you hear it exactly the way it was sent to you. Frequency response typically should be between 30 hertz up to 12 kilohertz. This is going to be listed in the specs on that particular recorder. Shielding. Plastic covers on recorders, not good, no bueno. What you need is metal shielding. What this does is increase the chances that you're going to be able to filter outside radio frequencies. It's tough enough right now deciding what it is we're listening to without microwaves bombarding us and cell phone signals. It's plastic cases are no good unless internally you have metal shielding. Sampling rate. What sampling rate is, is it's the number of samples the recorders makes. Uh, of the audio that's recorded every second. So the number you're looking for is 96 kilobytes per second. A lot of recorders have 44, 48, the higher the better. We recommend 96 for EVP work. This is a better chance again that what you record is going to be present on playback. Next we're going to talk about conversion formats. Extremely, extremely important. What you want is what's called the PCM conversion format, pulse code modulation. Uh, it doesn't compress the audio signal. So this way, if you hear a woman's voice inside of a room and suddenly on playback, boy, it sounds deep, sounds a lot more like a man. This will eliminate that possibility. Instead of the CELP, which is the code excited linear production, yada, 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 long haired, Okay, this is where it gets a little bit more complicated when we talk about bit systems. Good recorders will have a 24-bit conversion system, analog into digital. Binary code, series of ones and zeros, it compresses that sound. Using a 24-bit is absolutely much more recommendable to, again, be able to record and replicate the exact sound that you're hearing. Now next, and this is most important, is the file storage system. MP3 is considered a lossy format. As we were just talking about, there's a chance that what you hear and what you originally recorded isn't going to come out the same once it's compressed digitally. WAV format is the way to go, especially in handling files, when you download them onto a software audio program. WAV files, very important. If you get a file storage system on a recorder that handles WAV files, you're on your way. So hopefully this answers a lot of questions that I get, like what kind of recorder should I choose? What am I looking for? If you follow these guidelines, everything should be in the specs. And please, above all, don't go spend a lot of money on these things, okay? You don't need to spend two, three, five, seven hundred, a thousand dollars. As far as what type of recorder you buy, Sony, Panasonic, whatever. As far as brand names, as long as it meets those guidelines and it's in your price range, go ahead and do it. Good luck to you. I think you're well on your way to success in the EVP specialty.